now uh, here in this problem a top of mass m equal to 0.5 kg whose axis is tilted by an angle 30 degree to vertical precess is due to gravity so this is a problem on precision motion moment of inertia of the top relative to its symmetry axis is i angular velocity of rotation about that axis is 350 radian per second and distance from the point of rest to the center of mass center of inertia is find uh, is equal to l small l so let's draw the thing so this is the axis about which precision happens and uh, this is ground and here this is the top there so this is the top right so this uh, so this axis drawn here uh, this axis is which one uh, uh, axis of or the symmetry axis as mentioned here symmetry axis okay and uh, this is the vertical axis about which the precision happens and the angular speed about the symmetric axis is omega so this one is omega and the center of inertia or the center of mass this is the point at rest so the distance is equal to l so later on we will put the values l and this angle is 30 degree theta and the precision of the top happens that means the this is the precision angular velocity or omega p the, let's name it as omega p so this is omega p is the angular velocity of precision okay so this and i about this axis about this axis symmetry axis moment of inertia moi is equal to this capital i now we have to find the angular velocity of the precision of the top so this is the point o and what is the torque about point o so that is the weight mg and the this is position vector r position vector r r cross mg that means about point o about point o torque on the top is tau equal to r mg sin theta so it is r cross mg so as this is the vector direction of r vector mg r cross mg that is the direction of the torque vector is this way cross so into the plane of the paper so tau equal to r mg uh, sin theta so tau is equal to r so r is equal to l right so l mg times sin theta so this is a problem on torque about a point not torque about an axis remember that so the angular momentum vector of the top see so that is the angular uh, so as there this is the precision of the top happening so this is the angular momentum vector of of the top yes. l right l equal to i omega where omega is along this direction this same direction as that of the axis and the torque is this way right so what happens actually 
what is torque torque is equal to dl by dt right tau is equal to dl by dt that implies dl is equal to tau multiplied by dt so dl is the change in l change in l in time dt okay now so again here here torque uh, the vector torque is perpendicular to l so therefore uh, as it is perpendicular so its magnitude does not change that means magnitude that is l is constant only its direction changes now let's see at a certain time this is l vector l right and as a torque is there so tau multiplied by dt is equal to dl so this is dl vector dl vector is in this direction so what does that mean let's uh, make it up like this okay so dl vector is along that direction what does that mean that that uh, see this is point o so with respect to point O, let's draw a cone. So the angular moment of vector traverses the slant surface of the cone. So this is L at a certain moment. So that is the cone. So L at a certain moment and after time uh, dt, this vector is equal to L plus dl. So from triangle law, you know, this is DL, this is vector DL. So that is the center of the circle. So that is it. So from the top view, so from here we'll view the situation. So what do you see from the top view? See this angle is theta, right? this semi angle of this cone is theta so we'll calculate dl from here so that's actually l sine theta now the magnitude remains same l sine theta this one right from the top view so this is dl magnitude of dl and suppose this angle is d phi so what about dl dl is equal to l sine theta multiplied by d phi right so what is dl by dt dl by dt is l sin theta times d phi by dt what is d phi by dt see d phi by dt is nothing but see this is d phi in this diagram this angle is uh, d phi and there this precision is happening at omega p that's d phi right so what is d phi by dt that is the precision angular velocity o omega p so therefore dl by dt is equal to l sin theta into is omega p so what is l l is i omega into omega p multiplied by sine theta this is because l is equal to i omega so again we have uh, calculated before that torque torque equal to dl by dt so this was a vector but its magnitude also also we can write separately tau equal to dl by dt now what was torque if you recall that this was the top and from point O the torque was this was mg that is theta and uh, this distance is L so torque is equal to mg 
एल साइन थीटा इज इक्वल टू या डी एल डी टी वट डिड यू फाइंड आउट फ्रॉम हियर डी एल डी टी इक्वल टू डॉक इक्वल टू डी एल बाई डी टी सो डी एल बाई डी टी फ्रॉम हियर राइट इज इक्वल टू एल आई ओमेगा सो एल फॉर आई ओमेगा इन टू साइन थीटा सी हियर राइट आई ओमेगा साइन थीटा और ओमेगा पी सो दे आर फोर एम जी एल इक्वल टू आई ओमेगा इन टू ओमेगा पी सो दे आर फोर द प्रिसन एंगुलर स्पीड यू कैन फाइंड आउट लाइक दिस एम जी एल डिवाइडेड बाई आई ओमेगा सो दिस विल बी द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द प्रिसन एंगुलर स्पीड सो दिस वॉज पार्ट ए सो दिस इज एंसर टू पार्ट ए Now, for answering part B, in part B, you have to find magnitude of direction of the horizontal component of the reaction force acting on the top. So, as uh, this is the top, so there is a reaction force here, which has got a vertical component and a horizontal component also. So, this F H, let F H, F H be horizontal component. of uh, reaction force acting on the top so straight away newton's uh, law works for whatever situation it may be so there you know this center of mass of the torque moves in a circular path as this angle happens to be theta so the radius of the circular path happens to be l times sin theta so that uh, so the center of mass has a centripetal acceleration ac so we can write center of mass of top moves in a circular path of uh, radius l sin theta so it's acceleration so ac so acceleration of center of mass ac is in the direction so shown towards the, so this is the center of the circle right center of circular path of center of mass of top so what is ac equal to radius times precision angular speed square so the so the mass of the top m multiplied by this acceleration is equal to fh the horizontal component of the reaction force because all the other forces act like this mg and there is a fv vertical force 